Thanks for coming back to my shop. I'm Tim O'Brien and this is the second in a short video series about the installation of the Tripwire Universal E-Brake Cutoff Switch. In the first video, we covered the three methods for attaching the switch to your lever arm. Here, we'll cover attaching the sensor barrel to your brake cable housing, hydraulic hose, or to your bars. It's easiest to work on the underside of the brake levers. So loosen and rotate the brake assembly so that the underside shows from the top. First, a quick review of routing for the two different models of the tripwire. The pull model is designed for most brake levers that have horizontal linear motion at the top of the brake assembly, and the tripwire is routed along the top of the brake levers. The push model is for levers that have no horizontal linear motion at the top, primarily modern hydraulic brake sets with vertical cylinders. For these types of brakes, the tripwire cable housing is routed beneath the lever arm. Test fit your routing with the tip attached and find a location for the cable housing and sensor barrel that avoids very sharp bends in the cable housing. Also, try to choose routing that keeps all or most of the tripwire assembly beneath the components of the brake housing and lever so that it won't show from above when the brake is in the normal operating position. Then. Use two small cable ties to attach the sensor barrel to the brake cable housing, hydraulic tubing, or your bars, depending on where you want to mount it. Don't pull the cable ties completely tight yet. They should hold the sensor barrel in place, but allow you to slide it side to side to tune in the activation point of the switch. Now, using the larger zip ties, Route the tripwire cable housing along the body of the brake assembly. Again, keep it hidden beneath the brake assembly. These routing cable ties are just to keep the cable housing in place, so they don't need to be pulled too tight. Try to put the housing in the small triangular gap formed by the union of the head and the tail of the cable ties. Next, before firming up the cable ties, you will adjust the activation point to your preference. Make sure when the brake lever is depressed, Neither the sensor barrel nor the cable housing are moving. If they are, simply tighten the cable ties slightly, but still leave them loose enough to be able to slide them side to side. The easiest way to test the activation point is to connect the tripwire to your cycle analyst. The tripwire is equipped with stackable male-female connectors that are plug and play with the cycle analyst V3. The stackable connectors allow you to plug in a second tripwire for your other lever or add a signaling brake light or gear sensor cutoff. Simply plug it into the brake wire at the back of the CAV3 and power up your bike. By observing the brake cutoff slider, when you depress the lever, you can see where in the lever travel the cutoff or regen braking is activating. Another way, if you aren't using a CAV3, would be to connect a multimeter to the number two, number four pins in the JST connectors and set your meter to the continuity setting. In this way, when the switch closes, you will see and hear, if you have a meter with a buzzer, the activation point when you depress the brake lever. Then connect the tripwire to your controller, making whatever plug mating alterations are necessary. For both of these methods, remember that the pull model activates when pulled out of the housing, and the push model activates when pushed into the housing. With either of these test methods, once the switch activates, it's very important to check that the switch deactivates when the lever is released and returns to its natural resting position. With these parameters in mind, move the sensor barrel and cable housing either closer to the tip for deeper activation of the lever or further away for shallower activation. Again, be sure it consistently deactivates when the lever is released. With the activation point set to your preference, Firm up all of the cable ties and take the bike out for a test ride to make sure everything is as you expect. If so, add a third zip tie to the sensor barrel body and make sure all three of those zip ties are very firmly tight. If at some point you decide to readjust your brake system or lever configuration, be sure to retest and adjust the activation point of your tripwire switches. Congratulations! Your switch is installed and ready for use as a brake cutoff and regen braking activator. Be sure to watch the final video in this series, Tips and Tricks for Difficult Installations.